Welcome back, gang, gang. Welcome back. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments. To the new subscribers, what up, though? <clears throat> Make sure y'all continue to tell a friend, tell a friend. Why? So we all can be friends. And <clears throat> to my old subscribers, you know the ones that's been rocking with me since sliced bread. I however long you've been rocking with your earth angel. As long as you continue to rock with me. And to the big dig energy, you are already snow. Go ahead and rock out with your cock out. Now let's slide into this message and see what it's giving. Because it's pretty much going to be giving the truth. The divine truth. So help us most high and divine forces. Now, we already went live for tour, y'all. I'm a little tired, but you know what I'm saying? Never too much, never too much, never too much. The most high never asks for too much, baby. And I'm always up when the most high need me. You right? You figured it with me. You feel me knocking? Let me in. Treat me like bread, baby. I know you feel me. You feel me? Anywho. So it's like they were lying on Tory, lying on Tory, lying on Tory. Uh, we already know it was a lie. Uh, the most I said that the dad broke out and had said that uh, these people were evil, right? Because... I was giving a reading, you know, me, you know, I, I, be, I be running my mouth, you know, after the reading and share, you know, because some of my people, you know, you know, I like to talk to them outside of the reading, you know what I'm saying, you know, shoot the shit or whatever. So it's like, I got off with her and it's like I just scroll one time, like I didn't even really scroll up and down a timeline, you know, my finger just went up, you feel me? And then boom, pops up Tory Lane. And fucking um, Meg Thee Stallion. It's a picture of them or whatever. And um, it was like breaking news. Tori could be facing 20 years and deportation back to Canada. So, hold up. I thought a little sneeze was going to come out. The most high stopped it. You going to let it come out? It feel like it's going to come. So I said, wait, let me quit playing with me. Look, the most high made me rub my nose. I'm telling y'all, look. The daddy, somebody, somebody yelled out. The motherfuckers like y'all, y'all some demons. <laughs> You're wicked. <laughs> You're evil. Like that motherfucker going in, y'all. That's why I said, let me do this video. Cause I girl go to sleep, but then when I get off, I'm gonna go watch it. Cause I need to see what the fuck going on. <laughs> This motherfucker look like Joe Jackson a little bit. I don't know. Like, I mean, shit. It's, that's what it's giving. <laughs> the energy. Because it was giving what the fuck it needed to give. You know what I'm saying? It gave what the fuck it needed to give. And it's like, he already knew what it was. I done told y'all, the lawyer, that uh, everybody got their dust ass comments talking about, oh, he, um, he, he negative. He did this shit, all this stuff, but it's like this, y'all. Y'all speaking negative shit, talking about some, um, his lawyer was, was shitty and all this stuff. No. First and foremost, the judicial system is filled up with the fake-ass elite. I already told you about the wicked-ass lawyer, which is Megan's lawyer, which is Gay Z's lawyer from Rock Fucking Nation. Them motherfuckers have more power because who, who the fuck is Tory Lanez? And when I say who the fuck is Tory Lanez, it's no disrespect because I am a Tory Lanez fan. I don't give a fuck what fakeness took place. I've always listened to that nigga music. Ain't nobody going to take shit. They're just like R. Kelly. You're not going to take it from me, bruh. I fuck with Tory Lanez. When I mean is who the fuck is Tory Lanez to a 33rd Mason, to somebody who take dick on any and several occasions. We're not talking about Tory Lanez. We're talking about Jay-Z, okay? So it's like Jay-Z. Look. <laughs> it said, ooh, Jay-Z. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Jay-Z. That motherfucker right there. It's wicked as fuck. Wicked. He's like... P. Diddy is like the one that's out the bag making hits. Putting hits on people. And Jay-Z is behind the... It's like behind the scenes. But 
y'all so in that nigga ass. It's like he shit or breathe on the track, and y'all say that's that's going down in history. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you something. That nigga got like what? How many albums? I don't give a fuck if he had 15, 10. Ain't none of them hot. I, there's no you and I, I. You won't ever hear me get in my car and say, "Oh, I'm about to put on some Jay Z." That none of his albums is a press play album where you just press play and just listen to it. Y'all, he's overrated. Y'all be doing too much. He ain't never said no shit on no track that made me want to do anything but cut the motherfucking radio off. Like I ain't go flex that um. Dun 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 dun. I can't think of the damn beat. I don't know what it is. Is it lean? I don't see. Look, I don't even know what the fuck it is. And no, I ain't talking about. Let me see you bounce right to left and let your shoulder lean from the beach. From the like, I ain't talk from the bleachers. They bouncing. They like the way I be leaning. Whatever song that is. I don't even know the name of the song. Can't even come up with the goddamn lyrics, y'all. This shit is. <laughs> That's the only song I like. Oh, if you feeling like you a player, then go and brush your shoulders off. Ladies is players too. Go and brush your shoulders off. Get that dirt off your shoulders. You got to get that dirt off your shoulders. Like, yeah. I fuck with that one. Um, I fuck with that feature when he was on that 5, 4, 2, 3, 1. Only reason because he say Carolina Blue Kicks, Carolina. You feel me? Because I'm from the motherfucking North Carolina, baby. Anywho, and I know y'all like, Brie, Brie, what's going on? Yeah, I'm sleepy. Eyes <laughs> tired, boss. But the most I said, I need you to put me a message out in me, me awake now. You feel me? Every time I say what I need to be doing from the most I, me awake, man. Because at the end of the motherfucking day, man. We all know what the fuck they did to Tory Lanez, man. And don't you think for a second, man, that Megan got off the hook, man. That baby is that baby is gone, man. That's why she started the hot girl boot camp, man. She was getting her body back right. A child was aborted, man. They killed the child, man. The fake, like the fake, the fake narrative man, the false narrative man, is, this ain't fake though, Tori really was fucking Megan and he really was fucking um, that girl, the friend, but Megan and him was sneaking and geeking, y'all remember that picture where Megan, it looked like she trying to eat the air? And because the way her mouth opened, I think she in an orange suit and I mean an orange. Yeah, she in an orange girl suit and he's in a man suit and they got this green background and she got her jacket off, but it's over her shoulder and it's like they laughing real loud. That's a picture of pure. That's a that's a real ass picture. And what I mean by a real ass pictures, those are real feelings, real emotions, real laugh, whatever. You feel me? Real feelings. That's like, we took it as them just being cool, but I remember he took a picture standing behind her, like dick on booty. And um, I guess the girl thought it was just whatever type of role play because, you know, they in the industry or whatnot, the entertainment and shit. And um, I guess they had that threesome. Like, that's when I, like, this might not be the time. The most I said it is. I'm about to say this might not be the timeline. But, yeah, they had a threesome. And that could have, well, this part might not be the timeline. Like, they, they could have had a threesome and that could have started off from them fucking. Or they was already fucking and then they had a threesome. Meaning that Tori, Megan, and that girl. And that girl thought that that was their only first time fucking. It don't matter when the threesome took place. But she thought that was Tori and Megan's first time fucking. And I guess Tori got that ego. You know, niggas get that ego. The fucking the baby got that ego. Where it was like, bitch, don't be in this motherfucking line. You, we be fucking. You fuck with me. Like, don't, you don't fuck with me like, oh, we buddy, buddy. Like, you fuck with me. You be fucking me. And... Some, I guess the bitch was like, oh shit, like, oh nigga. Told both of them bitches to get the fuck out. Like, that's why that girl was ready to go up against Megan. And I know y'all like, well, she should be mad at Tori. She was that night, but then it's like, 
she can, y'all bitches know how y'all get over what a nigga do to you. But you be mad at the bitch, ready to go stand up in court and go up against her. It's like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? It's like, I'm going to keep it a band. Because I said this on the live. She didn't want to do that. She did not want to take it to that level. She did not want to take it to that level. She didn't. So I really do, because the most I said the dad, so I really do feel like they're going to do something to the Tory. Because now my energy is changing. Um, cause they gotta, he gotta be out the spotlight. If he got convicted, he gotta be out the spotlight. He can't perform no more. He can't do nothing. Cause it, but I don't think they gonna get him 20 years on January 27. If he do any time, it's gonna be a year. But I really do feel like he gonna get parole, or not even. I mean, I said parole or uh, probation. I don't even think he gonna get that because. Somebody going to come through. Y'all know how to fake ass. Uh, Y'all know how to fake ass elite work. They going to convict the nigga, but then let him be able. If he say that he going to do this, then he going to be able to um, appeal it. Then they going to be like, okay, well, it wasn't no DNA found. And I know y'all like, well, that's double jeopardy. He can't be tried twice. That's why he's going to appeal the decision. It's something that they got that he can do. They gonna start throwing out secret laws or secret shit in the judicial system. Like, um, y'all know how the fuck them fuckers work. Oh, greedy asses. Oh, lame ass. Cornball asses. Cocker shit asses. One four four. Not chosen head asses. Fake ass elite head asses. Couldn't even wipe my feet head asses. Motherfuckers thinking they doing something because they got a lot of fucking money. Don't nobody give a fuck about that money, nigga. Don't none of y'all motherfuckers got peace. You can have every fucking dollar in the world, but you ain't got peace. That means you ain't got shit. In order for you to have peace, in order for you to have love, in order for you to have joy and happiness, you have to be on the side of the Most High. Anything outside of the Most High, you won't ever receive that. I don't give a fuck if you went to the lottery. I mean, lottery. I don't give a fuck if you won the lottery. You'll be happy and amazed, like you'll be happy and elated. But then it's like after a while, that money don't do shit. It's like a, it's like you using drugs to cope. You feel good for a little second, but then when that shit go away, that shit wear off. Then what? You gotta sit with fucking reality. That's why I tell everybody to be real with your motherfucking self, ho. If you ain't real with yourself, how the fuck can you keep it real with me? You feel me? And I'ma always stand ten toes on that shit. You feel me? Cause one thing, let somebody say, eight toes. That's why y'all play Deion Sanders, yo. These damn spirits of change. But that's what I'm saying, telling y'all. I'm ten toes down, bro. One thing I'm not about the motherfucking do. I love my peace. I love my joy. I love my happiness. I love being real and honest with myself. Therefore, I'm real and honest with everybody else. You're not going to tell me otherwise. There's no way, shape, or form you living a fake-ass lie or living like you living this way and you not. A lot of them fucking celebrities, like the fuck I told you, they ain't got no motherfucking money. The motherfuckers is broken than y'all. Motherfuckers that's working 9 to 5. And I know you like, bitch, you work 9 to 5 too. Okay, put me in the category then. It don't matter. We got more money than them. I know y'all like, what? You cap, bitch. I ain't never been a Capricorn. I'm a motherfucking Leo, bitch. You feel me? We tell the truth. And we always keep the divine with us, too. Don't play with us, because we going to do what the fuck we need to do. We can't lie, so we got to tell the truth. We just being honest. If you want peace, joy, and happiness, you better fuck with the most high. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, love all that. Love and happiness. Hey. Come on now. You only going to get that from the most high. I don't give a fuck what nobody on this earth tell you. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you in this universe. Don't None of them fuckers got none of that shit. They punks. They pussies. They cowards. They liars. They losers. You feel me? Manipulators. If you got to do some extra shit in order for you to be seen or for you to be heard, you, use an illusion. You a motherfucking mirage. Your water, your fake water in a desert. You want to get some real water? Go fuck with a cactus, baby. 
Something that could possibly prick your fingers but save your life at the same time. Same thing that'll make you laugh or make your ass cry. Telling you. So why the fuck? Why the fuck would you go for materials? It's going to make you laugh at first and then that ass going to cry. Hey, uh, we don't cry. If we cry, it's because of the joy. Well, we, we, I ain't even going to say we feel whole because we're always whole. When you roll with the most high. You feel me? Because when the most high got your soul, you're going to always be whole. I don't even give a fuck about that twin flame shit. Y'all know how I say split souls. No, you still whole. You feel me? And when you got to be your whole, and then they got to be they whole, you come together. That's why it's a split soul. You feel me? Alchemist, you're going to create the right gold. These motherfuckers is, is stealing gold. Which one would you rather be able to do? Create gold or steal it? I think I'd rather be able to create it. I'm an alchemist, motherfucker. Steal from who? Steal from where? Manipulate who? Lie to who? What's the fuck? Lie, lie for what? 555. Five, five. Lie for what? Can't nobody on this motherfucking earth or out this universe call me no motherfucking liar. I'm so motherfucking honest. I remember my mama told me, you too honest. And I remember me telling her, there's no such thing. <laughs> You can never be too honest. Y'all got me fucked up. I take pride in being honest because I don't give a fuck if it hurts your feelings. At the end of the day, honesty is the best policy. I don't got to continue to make up no lie. I, I, I'm honest with myself. People be like, oh, no, you be lying. No, I remember one time I used to lie for my friends and my grandma, my great-great-grandma said, Brittany, they're still lying. And I said, you're right. I may not be lying for myself, but I'm still lying for others, which would consider me to be a liar. And I said, I'm not lying. I'm telling you, I take pride. Hey, does this make me look fat? It sure the fuck do. <laughs> the fuck? You thought I was going to lie to you? <laughs> what? You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> you thought I would lie to you? Yeah. Motherfucking right. Because that's some lame ass shit. And I ain't, I, that's something I won't ever be. I won't ever be corn. <laughs> you feel me? Not candy corn, not corn on a cab. Not children of the corn. You feel me? None of that. I don't play that shit. I tell the truth, no matter what it puts me in, no matter how it makes somebody else feel or how it make me feel. At the end of the day, I'm honest with myself. Therefore, I'm going to always be honest with everybody else because I hold myself in high standards first. And if I'm always honest with myself, who the fuck are you? It's a lie. So that's making me basically saying that you, no, you don't hold no weight. I hold all the weight. I care about how I feel. I validate my own motherfucking self. I wish the fuck I would care how somebody view me. Then I'd be lame just like the rest of these motherfuckers out here. That's why I'm different because I stay in my lane. I don't try to be like nobody else and I don't try to manipulate a motherfucker. This is what Tory was up against. Meg the Stallion too. They make you do what the fuck it is they want you to do. Fuck all you lame ass motherfuckers. Y'all sat up there and allowed this shit to go on. Y'all don't be telling shit. Y'all just sit up there and just let them... It's like y'all feed these motherfuckers to the wolves. Y'all all got one thing in common. You're black, bitch. You're black. Black people be so quick. Y'all are so fucking programmed to the shit that you eat, drink, 18, 18. The people that you surround yourself, the music that you listen to. That when you see something of black people... And it's good. You gotta see, you you go straight to see the negative. It's like when something is beautiful, you go straight to see the negative. But when something is negative, you can't see the beauty in it. Something is really wrong with you, motherfuckers. Y'all just like these fake ass elite. Y'all dumb. Y'all rather be so fucking materialistic. The real divine beings don't give a fuck about materials, cause they can be taken the fuck away. They don't bring you real joy. If you allow shit like materials, alcohol, dope, drugs, somebody else to bring you happiness or to validate you, you already motherfucking lost. And if you want to take something from somebody because you can't get it or you don't have it or you just don't want them to have it, you already fucking lost. Y'all just like these lame ass, fake ass elite people. Be your motherfucking self and you will live a good life, a long, prosperous life. But y'all don't give a fuck about air nor freedom. You'd rather be a slave and not have no air, no air. That's why I don't give a fuck. I'm going to always talk my shit and make you feel small as fuck. Because that's what the fuck you is. We call a spade a spade over here, motherfucker. You're small. Act stupid and win stupid prizes. You feel me? Ain't nobody going to bust your head to the motherfucking white meat but the most high. One for four. You got me fucked up.
I'm going to always, people say, oh, you belittling them. Yep. <clears throat> what you thought I was going to say? No. I'm going to always belittle you. I'm going to always put you down. You want to know why? Because that's what the fuck you are. You're not big. So why would I treat you like you big? You're small. So I'm going to belittle you because that's what the energy you possess. The fuck? I'm going to always put you down. Why? Because that's what the fuck you doing to others. Why would I uplift your dust ass? Exactly. I'm going to always make you fake ass elite people feel real fucking small. Because we don't give a fuck about the shit that you value, dummy. We value shit like joy, peace, happiness. We create that ourselves because the most High gave us the ability. So therefore you can't fuck with it. Dumbasses. And when you try to do some shit in the 3D, the most High send divine forces that you bitches can't see, nor can you be. So just beat it. Just beat it. But you want to be bad. Just beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. No one wants to be defeated. But y'all is. So you're not fucking. Y'all know everybody fucked that up. But at the end of the day, because that wasn't did. We know that wasn't the lyrics, Mike. At the end of the day, y'all motherfuckers are corny and y'all sit back and y'all rather save yourself and watch your other people drown, 222. Two, two, and y'all motherfuckers is broke. You're living in somebody else's shit. You're not living a life. And then you got demons. I mean, why would you just be regular? Why wouldn't you just take your own name and do something good with it? You already. It's like you already out here. You done built a name for yourself because y'all punks and y'all pussies and y'all fuckers is lame. Y'all corn. I saw the 144. I ain't calling it out. Because these, these, they they need to hear this shit because I'm calling their asses out. I'm going to have to end this, y'all, because I only got 23 uh, seconds on here. But at the end, I mean 23 minutes. But at the end of the day, y'all sit back and y'all watch other people drown. Don't even know that you're going to be up next to drown. Because y'all ain't got no motherfucking life vest on. And guess what? The most high took your ability away to swim. And you got an anchor tied to your motherfucking ankle. Yeah, y'all going straight to the bottom. Remember that. 222. Two, two. Started from the bottom and now y'all bitches is here. <laughs> so, with that being said. Always stay in high vibrations. Be honest. Give love. Feed people good shit. Uplift and feed the good. May the most high. May the, may the, may the most high be with you, within you, and surrounding you. Namaste, gang, gang.